Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the stress increase below a uniformly loaded rectangular area. I have been given a question which states that a flexible rectangular area is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 250 kilopascal. We have to determine the increase in vertical stress at a depth of Z is equal to 3 meter under these three points that is point A, uh, point B and this point C. Okay. First we will find the stress increase uh, at a depth of 3 meter below point A. So for point A this is uh, the corner of this uh, yellow shaded rectangular okay and for this rectangle length this is a this is 6 meter width this is uh, 3 meter depth at which we have to find the stress this is z which is 3 meter m this is the ratio of uh, length of rectangle divided by depth that is a by z which is 6 by 3 which is 2 and n this is another coefficient okay uh, which is ratio of weight divided by depth okay this is 3 by 3 which is 1 meter okay these two coefficients are used to find the influence coefficient from a table which i will show you in the next slide okay so we will use the table to find the influence coefficient okay and after multiplying the influence coefficient with a uniformly distributed load we will get the stress increase at this point a okay because this point this is at the corner of this rectangle okay so uh, this is the table this is the table for influence coefficients for points under uniformly loaded rectangular area you can download this uh, table from the internet okay so along the vertical these are the values of m or n you can take any one and along the horizontal again the coefficients n or m so for our uh, point a the value of n this is 1 and value of m this is 2 okay so n this is 1 here and m this is 2 here okay so you can see that the value of influence coefficient for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2 this is 0 0.2 okay so stress increase at point a this will be simply a uniformly distributed load multiplied by the influence coefficient that is q multiplied by i which is 250 multiplied by 0 0.2 which is equal to 50 kilopascal this is the stress increase at point a at a depth of 3 meter now the next point this is point b okay this influence uh, coefficient uh, table this is valid when the point is at the corner of a rectangle okay uh, so you will get the value of stress increase at the corner of the rectangle so we have to make this point b corner of some rectangle to find the stress increase for this i will divide this large rectangular area into four small rectangles okay so for point b you can see i am dividing this large rectangle into four rectangles the first rectangle this will be of uh, 6 minus 2.4 this is 3.6 meter and 3 minus 1.2 which is 1.8 meter second rectangle this will be 2.4 meter multiplied by 1.8 meter third rectangle this will be 3.6 meter multiplied by 1.2 meter and fourth one this will be 2.4 multiplied by 1.2 meter we will find the stress increase for all of these four rectangles at this corner point okay at this point so for first rectangle length this is 3 meter okay and width is 1.8 meter so m this will be 3.6 divided by 3 depth z this will remain same okay so m is 1.2 and n is 1.8 divided by 3 which is 0 0.6 again you will use the influence coefficient table here the value of n is 0 0.6 and value of m this is 1.2 okay so the value of influence coefficient this is 0 0.143 for next point uh, rectangle that is 3.6 meter multiplied by 1.2 meter value of m this is uh, 3.6 divided by 3 which is 1.2 and n this is 1.2 divided by 3 which is 0.4 so value of uh, influence coefficient for n is equal to 0 0.4 and m is equal to 1.2 okay n is equal to 0 0.4 and m is equal to 1.2 this is 0 0.106 okay 
for the third rectangle which is of size uh, 2.4 meter multiplied by 1.8 meter the value of m this will be 2.4 divided by 3 which is 0 0.8 and n this will be 1.8 divided by 3 which is 0 0.6 again using the influence coefficient table so value of uh, i for n is equal to 0 0.6 and m is equal to 0 0.8 this will be 0 0.125 okay after that for the fourth rectangle that is of size 2.4 meter multiplied by 1.2 meter m is 2.4 divided by 3 which is 0 0.8 and n is 1.2 divided by 3 which is 0 0.4 okay so again for n is equal to 0 0.4 and m is equal to 0 0.8 m is equal to 0 0.4 and m is equal to 0 0.8 this is 0 0.093 okay finally the stress increase at point b okay this will be the sum of uh, all of these uh, rectangles that is q into i1 plus q into i2 plus q into i3 plus q into i4 q is same this is 250 kilopascal value of i1 0 0.143 value of i2 0 0.106 value of i3 0 0.125 and value of i4 0 0.093 which will give me the value of stress increase at point B equal to 116.67 kilo Pascal. Okay. After that, the next point which is remaining is point C. You can see this point C is outside this rectangular area. So what we will do, we will extend this rectangle up to point C. Okay. Make a rectangle which passes through point C like this. Okay. So simply we are making a rectangle of size 6 plus 1.8 which is 7.8 meter multiplied by 3 meter and from this we will deduct this small rectangle which is of size 1.8 meter multiplied by 3 meter okay so first rectangle this will be 7.8 meter multiplied by 3 meter for this value of m this will be 7.8 divided by 3 which is 2.6 and and this will be 3 by 3 which is 1 so we have to find for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2.6 we can see in our table the value of n we have n is equal to 1 but we don't have value of m is equal to 2.6 so we have to interpolate between 2.5 and 3 so for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2.5 okay we will get the value of influence quotient 0.202 and for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 3 the value of influence coefficient is 0 0.203 interpolate between these two that is for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2.5 influence coefficient is 0 0.202 and for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 3 value of influence coefficient is 0 0.203 from interpolation you can say that for n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2.6 you have to do the linear interpolation value of i this will be 0.2022 for the next rectangle for point C which is of size 1.8 meter multiplied by 3 meter value of M this is 1.8 divided by 3 which is 0 0.6 and value of N this is 3 by 3 which is 1 meter again use the influence coefficient table so for N is equal to 1 okay and M is equal to 0 0.6 the value of influence coefficient is 0 0.136 so stress increase at C, this will be uh, stress increase at the corner of this large rectangle multiplied by, sorry, subtract uh, uh, minus stress increase for this small rectangle at this corner point C, okay. So it will be 250 multiplied by 0 0.2022 minus 0 0.136, which is 16.55 kilopascal. This will be the stress increase at point C at a depth of 3 meter okay so this is how you can find the stress increase at any depth below a uniformly loaded rectangular area okay you just have to make uh, the point at which you have to find the stress increase the corner of the rectangle okay and after that you will use the influence coefficient table to find the influence coefficient which will ultimately give you the stress increase at that point okay so i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new uh, if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel and share this video and also if you have 
any doubt regarding this solution video you can write your doubts in the comment box okay and i will be happy to uh, answer your doubts thanks for watching and stay tuned